Hi, it's time for Ask the Cord Cutter. You won't need these. Today's question comes from Joe in Salt Lake City who asks, Roku or Apple TV? Thank you for the very succinct question, Joe. So this is a uh, time-honored question and uh, it's still relevant. If you want a set-top box to get your video onto your television, which means that you're not gonna rely on your television smart TV operating system. So that's a choice in and of its own. We're assuming Joe made that choice. Like I want a set top box. Roku and Apple TV are still your top choices. Yes, there are others. There's Fire TV, there's Shield, and they all have their benefits, but Roku and Apple TV are the top two sellers. So I'm assuming that's why he's asking about just those two. And here's the thing. There's no one right answer for this. The Roku has the benefit of a more open ecosystem. So it used to be that there were certain services you could only get on Roku. There was no YouTube app on Apple TV for a short period of time. There was no Amazon TV app on Apple TV for a very long time. Those differences have started to change. Uh, but if you want to be assured of getting everything except Apple's stuff, Roku will be the best bet still. It's also a little cheaper for what you get. And it's got a wide open app store with a lot of things that still haven't made it over to Apple TV in the more niche standpoint. That said, Apple TV has the interface advantage. If you want the easiest to use interface for people, Apple TV is better. Their TV app that collects some of the apps that you have into one place so you can keep track of the shows you're watching on say Hulu or HBO works really well. Big problem there, doesn't work with Netflix, so it doesn't work with everything. But Apple TV definitely wins on interface and it has made great strides, like I said, in getting, for instance, the Amazon app. The one advantage that Roku still has on Apple that annoys me is that Apple's apps generally don't have in-app purchases. So if I wanna rent a movie from Amazon, I have to go onto my phone or go onto my laptop to rent it if I wanna watch it on the Apple TV version of the Amazon app. In Roku, I can just put in my information in the Roku and from then on rent straight from the Roku. So with these advantages and disadvantages in mind, it pretty much comes down to price. If you don't mind having a little clunkier interface uh, and you want to save money, go with the Roku. If you say price is no object and you really want the easy to use interface of that, or if you live in the Apple ecosystem and you're like, I'm buying everything from iTunes and I have to have something that works with that, then you want the Apple TV. Hope that helps you out, Joe. And we're going to cut it off right there.